Tonight at 6, a decision today from an Indianapolis judge. The Indiana Attorney General's Office can do a full inspection of wildlife in need in southern Indiana, looking over the property and the animals. It all comes after our WHS 11 News Focus Team investigation and our year-long investigation released the claims of abuse of the animals. Focus investigator Shane McAllister asked owner Tim Stark many questions before and after the hearing in Indianapolis on Friday. Now, what happens next? It's been three years since any government agency was on wildlife and needs property for any kind of inspection. The office tells us that's why it will be a thorough inspection. The agency even flying in experts to check on the animals. Our drone shows the scale of the sprawling southern Indiana property. Now a judge has ruled inspectors are to have access to all of it. Any place animals are kept, have been kept, or will be kept any location related to animal care, and any and all animal records. If the animals are not in safe and secure um, locations and, and they are in distress, then we would potentially go back to court and ask the court to issue some other order to have the animals move from the property. The judge is allowing up to 18 people onto the property for the inspection, including animal welfare inspectors like Indianapolis Zoo President Rob Shoemaker, Attorney General investigators who will be documenting the inspection, attorneys from the AG's office to oversee the inspection, and law enforcement for security. Could you see um, yourself and your office come into an agreement with Tim Stark that allows him to keep operating with animals? I don't think so based on what we know at this time, but there's always the potential that we could learn new or different information that would change our opinion. In court on Friday, Tim Stark said he wouldn't allow inspectors to have physical contact with any of the animals, offering to pull them out of cages and show them to inspectors. But the judge's ruling says vets on the state's team may treat animals that they believe need medical attention. And he ordered Stark and his team not to disrupt, harass, or impede them. A few things not documented in the judge's order, when the inspection will happen and how long it will take. The state was requesting two eight-hour days to complete the inspection, but Stark argued that would be too disruptive to his animals. The thing we do know tonight, the state is working to get those animal experts here as soon as they can. For Focus, I'm Shay McAllister.